Hi guys, welcome everybody. I want to share with you just some of the things that I've achieved this particular week. I got myself a brand new sewing machine. Yet again, it's a second hand one. I tend to buy them that way. And I wanted to see how it sits, to be perfectly honest with you. So the very first project that I started was this little piece of fabric here. So it's 100% cotton and I've coffee stained it. And I really just wanted to see, would the machine like taking a first piece, a little bit of cotton, and how would it cope with putting fibres and paper onto this particular piece of fabric? And as you can see, it's worked out tremendously well. I also have a large collection of postage stamps and I really wanted to start getting to, to use these in my projects. So here you have a piece of cotton fabric, also a tea bag that I've stamped on here. You've got a little bit of sari silk, you have some lace, you have some fibres coming out from underneath the postage stamp, you have some stamping on a I would like to say it's tissue paper, but it's just a little bit more than tissue paper. It actually has, um, it's like something that you put in your dryer when you are drying your clothes. So it is a little bit more fabric orientated, so it gives your laundry a lovely fresh scent. And that's what I've stamped on, and I've done some hand stitching just around this particular dragonfly. So much so, that is like a little sample, and I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with that sample? And I've got in my collection this little mixed media book that I started. And what I've done is just literally taken a tea bag and different varieties and just grunged up some of these pages. So they're already taken off the just mixed media pages. And I'm thinking, as it's a little sample, maybe I will just lay it in this little book like so. And I don't mind if it comes out or goes across the pages. I think in actual fact that's probably a bit more delightful. And so that's where this is going to go for the moment. I'm finished as an example. Then I moved on. I'm going to move this sign to one side and I went, do you know what, let's go grand style. So we've got a large piece of cotton stained fabric and I've been using more fibres, more postage stamps, tissue paper, tea bag paper. Now you're going to go, how on earth have you got such a long piece of tea bag paper? There is a story, you can actually buy it in sheets, but um, if you request it, by all means, I'll give you the details, but um, I haven't really let on that you can actually buy it in plain white sheets in the UK from a company called Art Van Gogh. So as you can see, this is still work in progress, but I just really wanted to put that sewing machine to the test and also see where I could take it. So there's all types of different styles of tissue paper and postage stamps. So let's put that to one side. Next, more tea bags. Now, it needs a lot more work to define it. It's taken a couple of hours already. So we have just glued tea bags, nothing more and machine stitching. The only thing to make this more durable is that I put on acrylic wax two coats before I started the project. Little areas on its own, the stitching has made the odd occasional hole. And also I tried hitting this with some embossing powders. I just wanted to see how a tea bag would take some embossing. So it's taken to it very well. And obviously the stitching is coming along and I'm intending on making this a landscape. 
and then maybe I can make it into a cover or it will just be a picture in its own right. But I am just trying all different ways of playing with my tea bags. So I'll put that to one side. Again, if you want to know about acrylic wax, look in my videos and I do do a um, explanation on acrylic wax. Now, <clears throat> knowing me, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, but a zine, first one that I've ever made, I'm going in a completely different, probably, process. But yet again, we are looking at, I'm going to open it all the way up and show you the back. So here we have a little bit of washi tape. There is a story, a cut in the wrong place. So I've glued my tea bags together and I've hit it with acrylic paint and I've just used a roller and just rolled out a bit of acrylic paint. And then I've done the cutting in the centre. It transpired I had to make my piece of paper eight and a half inches by 11 inches and because I hadn't done that, I just relied on the squares that I glued together, counted them, thought they'd be equal, sliced in the centre, it didn't work. So after I cut it to size, I re-sliced it and that's why it has the washi tape holding it together. So this has been hit with acrylic, um, acrylic paint. And from there, I've used the tea bag, the way that the tea bags have just sort of like the coloration. And I've worked with it. I've seen the landscape, in my opinion. And then I've used stamps and I've used my laundry uh, marker just to emphasize areas. And then I've gone over in watercolor. So this looks like some sort of Asian scene going on. And I also wanted to completely do a different style on the other side. And in this case, I went with the watercolours after I'd done the acrylic, added some nice rich reds. Then I got a big stamp set and just stamped it all with a one style of background. Then I looked for the collage pieces I had in my collection and found these individuals here and then found some words. So I've got unforgettable, grow unforgettable dreams forever. And I've just got these two pieces of ephemera, an old coach ticket and a royal ascot um, ticket. And then I've just put a actual ribbon bow on this young lady's hair. So here, that is my sign, or whichever way you want to call it. And so it folds up in the centre, and no matter which time or way, you can fold and look at it. It's my approach. It isn't the most wonderful approach, but it's my take on one of these little folded pamphlets. So I haven't, as you can see, I haven't put any tuck spots in there yet. It was just really to see how durable tea bags would be without the acrylic wax. This is just paint, stamps and a bit of collage. There you go guys, that's basically what I've achieved this particular week and I hope to be bringing you more on my journal update very, very soon. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.